Thanks for joining me. I'm Stefan Papadakis with Papadakis Racing. We are a long time racing team and we've done, you know, drag racing, road racing, uh, some motorcycle stuff, off road. Right now we do competition drifting. And there are some tools that are just universal in motorsports and uh, you just, just even normal wrenching on cars. And one of them that we have in every toolbox is uh, safety wire and safety wire pliers. Safety wire is literally just stainless steel wire. The really popular size is 32 thousandths. It's kind of like the Goldilocks size. It's not too small and fragile, but it's, and it's not too big, so it still fits through holes. Uh, that you can drill relatively easily into bolts. Like in automotive space, you're sort of in this like 1032 to sort of half inch, even 5.8 size bolts. And the 032 is, is the right size diameter for pretty much all of that. Um, here I have a couple of different pliers. This is a pretty inexpensive one that I got from Amazon and I'll actually post the link below uh, if you wanna think about the inexpensive one. If you just do like randomly safety wiring stuff and it's just like for us we don't safety wire stuff necessarily every day maybe we'll work on a transmission or part of the engine or somewhere on the car and you know once a week or a couple times a week we just need to do a little bit of safety wire this one is pretty it just does the job well and this is a higher end like airplane mechanic tool and this will probably last you know a lifetime um, and this is probably a 20 year old tool that we have the next thing is like the bolts right so we don't always have bolts that have holes in them like the high-end army navy stuff uh, so we'll drill the bolts to put the hole in it and so i've got a couple of fixtures here because uh, you try to get like a drill and put a drill bit in there and then try to you know hand drill a bolt it's almost it's really hard to do um, so you have these relatively inexpensive fixtures this one is from speedway so the way this works is you put the bolt in the fixture and there's different holes to sizes depending on which size bolt you're using and the screw holds it down and the screw actually has a hole in the center of it and you'll fixture this up and drill the uh the center of the bolt and so we'll go and do that in a little bit um this one drills straight through the center of the bolt you don't always want that uh you may want to just drill the corner of the bolt so this is a different safety wiring fixture this is pretty universal you can actually drill through the corner of the bolt in addition to being able to do bolts, safety wire is really good for like hand grips on a motorcycle, dirt bike, so, uh, or even a BMX. Sometimes you know they'll want to slip, so you'll safety wire the grip and really compress those areas down, and then they don't want to slip. Uh, but let's go over to, we'll go over to the drill. We'll actually use the mill, but you can use the drill press as well, and we'll go drill this bolt right now. Okay, so now we're over here at the mill, and uh, we've got everything all set up and we're gonna drill both of these bolts. Once they're both drilled, we'll go install them on the engine and uh, we'll safety wire them up. So what I'm gonna do is just install the bolt into the fixture, lock it down, and then go ahead and drill it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of oil so it drills nicely into the steel bolt, and then I'm gonna keep pecking it. So it'll go up and down, up and down. Each time it'll pull out a little bit of what we're drilling, uh, and that'll clear the chips basically. Uh, another tip is run the drill bit you know, pretty fast. I'm running at like 2,500 RPM. The smaller diameter of the drill bit, the higher you need to run the speed um, because the surface speed is slower the smaller diameter. And the oil that I'm using is just called Rapid Tap. Pretty much any kind of cutting fluid would work. Um, this one, just easy to use and uh, that's what we have around the shop. So now they're both drilled and uh, we'll go deburr them and then put them in the engine, torque them up, and then uh, we'll install the safety wire. Let's cut the safety wire longer than we need. And you see I'll feed it through. And when I feed it through here, I've got a couple of options. One, we can kind of go down, but if we go down, it will actually be trying to sort of unscrew it. So we're gonna go as around. When we wrap it around the top like this, if the bolt tries to come loose, it'll actually try to tighten the safety wire and not allow it to unscrew. Same with the bottom, we're gonna make sure that we're putting it in a way that if the bolt tries to come loose, it's actually putting tension on the safety wire. So I'll go ahead and grab the safety wire, a little bit shorter than I think I need it, clamp the safety wire pliers down, 
and then start twisting it. And once we get it twisted, not too tight, and don't go too fast either, because if you go too fast, you'll heat up the safety wire and it'll want to break. So we'll go ahead and twist it, and then we'll go ahead and measure it. And now we're going to look and see if we've got it spun down enough. Typically, you want to err on the side of having it, you know, a, the, the twists end a little bit too soon. That way you can just grab it again with the pliers where you know you exactly need it. Lock it down and just put another couple turns in it. Done. And then we'll take this and we will then put this wire up through the hole. You then take the pliers and pull it up. And I'll usually take it and even kind of pry it around a little bit to get it a little bit taut. And then we'll pull it around, grab these two ends with the pliers, twist those, and the last one I'll just do it by hand. Done. Again with the built-in little cutters. And make sure you find all of the little pieces that come off because these, especially if you have a race car with racing tires, these can actually poke into the tire and uh, give you a good little flat. So make sure you find all these little pieces. I've got these little pliers that I love and I'll just take this and twist this in away from the people that are working on it. That way, if there's a, you know, nobody gets cut on that pointy piece, so now it's all safe. So if you look at this again, you can see if this bolt tries to come loose, it'll actually pull on the safety wire and not be able to go there while it's trying to tighten this one. And if this one tries to come loose, it's gonna pull on the safety wire and try to tighten that one. So these are not going anywhere. And now we've got a finished, completed, safety wired bolt setup. So now we're at my buddy's race shop and uh, he's got this race Yamaha R6. It's got aftermarket grips on it. So same thing like dirt bike or road bike, you know, you're always pulling on the grips for throttle or even like hitting whoops or whatever on the dirt bike, right? And you never want the grip to slip. And back in the days, you know, you might use like hairspray or something, uh, but safety wire is really the best way to do it. If you look at like any race bike, like in supercross or motocross or, you know, pro, pro road bike stuff, um, they're always safety wire grips. Uh, so let's do that. I'll show you guys how to do it now. There's like a preferred technique where you wrap it twice. Um, and we'll do that right now on this bike. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna wrap this around twice. So we need enough safety wire to do this. Let's wrap it around twice, and then we're gonna twist it. So we'll cut it about right there. And another trick is don't cut it so short. Always leave a little bit, that way the, the safety wire doesn't you know, go back inside the container. So what we're going to do is see how it's wrapped around twice. And we're going to go for an area that's not near the, the rider's hand. So you probably grab it like this, right? So we're going to put the, the end of it right about here. So we'll go ahead and twist it around, get it started. Grab it with the safety wire pliers, lock it in, and then start twisting it. So thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. Uh, if you want to see more of our videos, uh, check out our channel and consider subscribing if you want to see you know, stuff that will come out in the future. Uh, so thanks again for watching and go safety wire something.